What is up, everybody? Oxidize bringing you another new player solo PVE build, and we're going to go carving sword, one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. It's super good, super fun, good for PvP, good for PVE, good for you and me. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about a couple of things. I do like normally I like doing a um a very cheap build and then a very more expensive build, something you can think about doing when you get to uh, higher levels. The very first thing we're going to do is look at the carving sword in general. Really, really good. The carving sword at tier four allows you to get parrying strike, which I highly recommend everyone uses in PVE. You could make an argument for iron will giving you extra heroic charges quicker, but parrying strike is going to do a lot. Do you do you a lot of good because it makes uh, damage reflect and it makes you immune dealing also dealing damage in AOE. Super, super good. Uh, heroic strike dealing damage aoe giving you heroic charges and then fearless strike you dash to a location you deal a certain amount of damage based on heroic strikes you lower defenses and it gets really insane damage uh usually deep cuts is fine uh for this for the most part we're also by the way before we do anything else we're in a tier 5 yellow zone this is a tier 5 yellow zone dungeon that we'll be a part of uh next so this is a cheaper build we have a normal cape for a little bit of energy regen we do guardian helmet for sustain uh, I like using Scholar Sandals for Focus Run, which also allows you to get more um, energy back as well. Uh, also, it's also it's not too bad for just uh, moving from group to group, just because it is. It's I mean it's it's a seventy percent increase for for five seconds. It's not too bad. Um, also, I like using Assassin Jacket for this because you get the ambush ability, which doesn't really help you. Um, doesn't really help you while doing combat, so you could theoretically use a stalker jacket instead but i like using assassin jacket as well because if you're if you end up getting to a group that um that it, that it, you know you're about to die from a boss fight you can pop this it will take you out of combat and you can reset without having to go down it's actually really really useful hopefully i can show that off here um i also recommend getting some kind of fish i i like using bluefin tunas because they're really cheap or dangle mouth cat fishes brother they're also really good uh this, so so the region is really crazy for these so if, if, if you're in a bad fight, you're about to lose, you can ambush away and your HP region will be through the roof really, really good. And that's it um, for the for the cheap build, for the more expensive build, you change Scholar's Sandals for Demon Boots because you get Vengeful Sprint, which is just insanely good. Allows you to escape bad situations. Instead of Guardian Helmet, you would go for Scholar Cal for the energy uh, shield, which gives you really good energy sustain. And then instead of assassin jacket, I would go either stalker jacket. Maybe stalker, stalker jacket's cheap. You can you can probably use stalker jacket from the beginning if you wanted to try that rather than the assassin jacket. It probably it'll increase your um, your clear speed really well as well. And, or, and then I'd go to hellion jacket, which is really really good for sustain. Uh, it, depending on how low your life is, you get a life still aura around you, which is really good. And then that for cape you can't go wrong with that for cape on swords it just gives you the extra aoe and let's just let, let's let's give this build a little bit of a, of a showing here now when i first started playing albion online the carving sword well the broad sword is what it was what i was attracted to at first but the carving sword slowly became one of my favorite weapons in the entire game it's really good for pvp as well like i was saying um hopefully i can get you i can show off a little bit here yeah okay okay let's okay so first off always eat your food in the beginning i brought poison potions but we're not gonna we're not gonna need poison potions all right good so now we actually have a little bit of a fight here these are also really good like the parrying strikes insane you just step right here press w and it can like okay so that wasn't a very good showing but i did kill the rock with a parrying strike i was trying to flex a little bit you know how i am uh but let me show you how this is really done here <laughs> I'll show you this and then I want to show you a boss fight as well. The boss fight will uh, it will allow me to show you um, Like uh, you know kind of what you can do. Oh, this is really good for parrying strike That's why you use parrying strike by the way It's insane damage and you take nothing if you time it correctly super super good. Go ahead and grab that All right, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to a boss and so I can show you how powerful the build is against a boss and how you would want to use your uh your assassin jacket to get out of the boss fight then go back in when you're ready to go all right all right so we are at the boss fight now some things i recommend you do if, it, if, it, if it's especially a tough boss fight switch your q on over to heroic strike it's a single target uh q that will actually do more damage uh to single targets i mean just like pretty much like i said right there uh and then that's that's, a, that's the only difference you got to do so let me show you how this would normally work you come on in you want to stack you will 
you, you, you want to use parrying strike when you can because look how much damage we did just by reflecting his damage back at him try to get three stacks nice and easy press on e and look at the damage we're doing on him and we're not really getting hurt too much here let's say let's say you are getting hurt you just press d and now we have a little bit of a heal from our uh from our uh guardian helmet and then let's say you know he's hurting me he's hurt oh no he's hurting me he's hurting me he's hurting me you then you're like okay all right so i don't want to go down because then, then you lose dur durability if you're in a red zone if you go down and you get ganked you can't defend yourself so let you know he's attacked me oh no oh no i don't want to go down you press r it resets combat your regen comes back up and now you're you know ready to go again maybe you want to change some abilities maybe instead of toughness you want cc duration you don't want to do that or maybe instead of on the boots, instead of having aggression, you want this. You don't want to do that either, but you, 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 you get the idea. Maybe maybe next time instead of ambush, you want to try the Inferno Shield. Maybe that'll help you out as well. So things like that, or maybe instead of this Q, you want to try that one. Maybe instead of parrying strike, you want to try this. And then you can get back into it. You didn't lose any durability and things are looking good. Now, uh, I want to show you a little bit of the clear speed using the other build here. So when you start spending more money, this is kind of the build you can kind of shoot for here. It's it's pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to show you the, uh, the the clear speed on this thing. So let's go ahead and get a couple of guys here. I mean, like, they, 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 these guys are kind of jokes. So these don't really count. Let's see if we can get like a real one here. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. So we, 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 we can get all these guys. All right, so so we're, we're, you know, we're taking damage, taking damage. What are we gonna do? You press R. Hell, you know, Hellion Jack is just nuts, you know? So not, not, now we're getting a whole bunch of health back. You know, they're not really doing too much damage to us. You know, you know, you know, dodge, dodge out of that if you can. Press E and then look, look at the damage. And like the carving sword's amazing. You can't go wrong with it. Give it a shot yourself. And with that being said, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this little build guide quick easy a couple of options for you let me know what y'all want to see next time on the builds um no bows because <laughs> i don't really play with bows but anything else i can probably put something together for you with that being said see y'all oh don't forget to like comment subscribe also stream on twitch every sunday tuesday wednesday and thursday 5 p.m to trust on that man go check it out